thousands of training opportunities are offered to Bahrain's youth as the nation's biggest summer camp. Nearly 80 skills programs have been lined by during the 9th edition of Youth City 2030, which takes place at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy to announce the launch of the 9th edition of Youth City 2030. Uh, we're very happy to be here today under the patronage of His Royal Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa uh, in the 9th edition, as I had mentioned. Uh, this year is really um, different than any of the other editions that's been happening years ago. Um, we have changed the idea of Youth City 2030 so that it's not centers anymore. Uh, it's mostly on uh, 10 different institutes that we have um, like for instance, we have the sports uh, city or the sport Victoria city, we have uh, uh, the atelier, we have techno lab. So we have many different institutes in which the youth would be able to participate by uh, part you know, just uh, registering for a certain institute and then after that doing a different project in the institute itself. So um, it's just, it's taking a different approach altogether for the ninth edition. We changed the look and feel of it. Uh, we're trying to do something very different with the youth uh, this year. And we're just happy to be standing here in the ninth year. There are definitely like a plethora of activities that we have this year. Um, I mean, we're not sticking to certain, uh, just certain activities. We've got, I mean, just Victorious, which is the sports academy, has many different projects, many different activities. Then you've got, uh, for instance, Technolab. Uh, underneath that, there's like a ton of different activities that the kids can participate in. So really, the, the, I'd say the sky's the limit. We just want them to, to come in, register, have fun, and learn in this uh, summer holidays. As I had mentioned previously, um, the this year we, we have taken a, a completely different approach. So Youth City this year is not like the previous years. Uh, you don't have centers that you register in. You have institutes, so it's like a real life replica of an actual city so or an actual uh, country even where the, the registrants would be able to participate in a certain um, institute and say for example this is what I want to, to, to participate in. For example if you want to go to a consultancy then the youth would uh, register in the consultancy and do one or different projects in the in the entire summer holidays which is um, uh, from the the launch of the project from the 8th of July up to the 9th of August at the Bahrain Exhibition Center. We cannot uh, extend ourselves from our partners because our partners take a, a huge role in, in even just being part of what we do. So we just wanted to thank obviously Temkin uh, that has been the biggest supporter. They've been with us from the beginning of Youth City, the inception of the idea of Youth City up to the ninth year today. Uh, we have Batelco uh, sponsoring Technolab. Uh, we've got uh, Al Baraka Bank as well as uh, KFH and some NGOs as well like Injaz. In my opinion, the uh, most uh, sectors that are in demand are the um, here the gourmet uh, section that is uh, that offers uh, programs in food industry and culinary, and also the uh, scenes production, uh, which is a, a production agency. We always do uh, a pre-program assessment and also uh, a post-program assessment. Uh, this will help us in uh, evaluating the, uh, the participants and to measure the uh, uh, improvement and the impact of the program. The main uh, goals that we target in Youth City uh, are goals number four, which is the um, uh, quality education, and also the goal number eight, which is the uh, decent work and uh, uh, economic growth. In, in our programs, we, we also designed them to target uh, specific goals. My, hello, my name is Aisha Khaled Al Hajj. I, today was my first day in Medina Shabab. I joined in uh, Mini Mini One and the Click Station. Mini Mini One is all about cooking. Today was my first day and we took body language and teamwork and after like five minutes my next class is going to be about cooking and then the other thing that I joined in was the click station. It's all about photography. I like photography a lot and I want to be a famous photographer in the future.
the summer holidays a long stretch of time to fill, but luckily in Bahrain there are wonderful workshops, classes and activities to be found in Nahu's tent. It offers many workshops, creative crafts and family recreation. Such workshops enhance the skills of the participants, whether it is scientific, practical or artistic capabilities. Hi, this is Tomomi Kakinuma. I'm Japanese. This workshop is traditional Japanese hanga, and this is woodblock print. And this workshop is only printing booths. The first uh, woodblock print process, first writing on the board, and uh, carving, then printing. The, this times only printing for kids. <laughs> the workshop is Japanese hanga. Um, I'm getting a lot of interaction actually from the children that the age group is for them and I'm even getting requests from children that are younger and even children older sometimes moms come and they want to register and try the workshop. So the wood is already ready-made, it's original, it's from Japan. The instructor had it carved herself. Um, we can't have carving done here because it's rather dangerous, but the kids uh, take the wood, uh, they put some ink on it and they remove the excess ink and uh, they take the paper, they print it on it and it's done. Today here in uh, Summer Bahrain, uh, 2018 we will do a, a traditional uh, Japanese draw we draw all the Jap uh, Japanese uh, traditional is before 10 years or 20s we we do uh, we do here a traditional uh, draw Japanese uh, black and white we take some papers and and uh, black black painting and only put uh, take take uh, any any something is dog only put it a painting black painting and put it in the paper My name is Jesus Ramos Tejada. I'm a Filipino. I am an art teacher. My art workshop is what we call the etching. Etching is a typical art workshop wherein motor skills of the hands of the students are actually practiced and typically it's more on the motor of the hands. So it actually deals also with your cognitive and your emotional, the way you draw, the way you color on the uh, artworks. It's the different kind of art or drawing exercises wherein it deals with the physical motor skills of the learners. The main objective of, the, of my workshop is to, you know, to interpret their imagination and to, to enhance their motor skills, especially on the hands. Because what, what's actually the problem nowadays is children are more into technology, so they don't care about working with their hands. Most of them, they are working on their iPads or are more in technology. That's why I used to deal with this kind of activity wherein they have to use their hands, you know, the, the movements of the hands. The name of uh, Bahrain Chis Academy. Uh, we are giving like uh, instruction for chess, uh, like trying to teach the kids, uh, like the like the abbreviation of chess, the starting. The objective of uh, teaching chess or uh, trying to learn 
the chess. Uh, chess now, uh, can I say, it uh, became uh, something uh, very important in some, uh, like uh, I mean, some schools, or uh, it's uh, chess became like some uh, like a, a stuff. Uh, like at school, at staff at school, like uh, one of the uh, like uh, maths, like English, has uh, uh, like very important in school. We are participating in a whole tent uh, by science workshop. Each week we do a different workshop about science. This week we are uh, we are presenting a workshop uh, named co uh, called Blue Gold. Uh, we mean by Blue Gold is water because water is so important in our life on, on planet Earth. So that's why we are focusing on water in general. Um, we are doing, we do um, three experiments uh, in the workshop. Each one we're using water uh, as a kind of material. Um, the, the workshop is about physics and chemistry. We are trying to deliver science and teaching kids science in a very interesting way, in a magnificent way, in a fantastic way. Like the, all kids uh, should, uh, like the experiments blow their minds. So they like science and they um, uh, always seek to learn more about science and improve their skills. The children are so happy because for the first time they are seeing the real experiments. They are doing the experiments by themselves, not just reading inside the books or, um, or uh, watch it on TV. So they are really amazed and they are happy while they are doing such experiments. Bahrain Summer Festival 2018 will be held until August. Nakho Tent is open free of charge to all citizens and residents from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Arad Fort.